We've reached London, England. Let's see if we can give you a better view. In this episode, we get to meet a couple of new characters. First off, of course, is Sarah Crew. Sarah's a very intelligent and articulate girl. Oh, but it's so exotic. Every French word is a thing of beauty. Every French word is a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> VeggieTales has always been a very big deal in my life. To get the opportunity to do this was really exciting, and it was very, very fun being in the process of, you know, storyboards and recording, and then seeing and seeing stuff all put together. It's amazing. I am Headmistress Minchin. Opposite Sarah, we've got Miss Minchin. Her model's actually based on Miss Akmitha, but we have a whole new voice for her. Her voice was done by an actress named Marin Miller. Marin actually came into audition for Sarah. She said, well, I'd love to audition for Minchin. And she started doing this crazy British voice. My patience has run out with you, Miss Crew. What is it going to require for me to teach you that you are not an exception? She just immediately felt like a VeggieTales character. <laughs> But you can call me Ermi. Ermi is fantastic. You know, you kind of wait for her to come on screen and just be outlandish. <laughs> I'm in heaven. <laughs> ah, the classics. They are so very classy. One of the really fun things about this show is that it's based on a classic piece of literature, but Sarah as a character um, is also a reader, and so she's got this library full of books in her room. I love to read. It's like an adventure on every page. It's like school on every page. But Sarah encourages Ermi and shows her the worlds that books can unlock. Sure, if you try, you will see what I can see. One of the things that we love to do at Veggie Tales is to make sure that we've got those songs, that they're really singable and fun, and it's a song that kids enjoy singing, but as they sing it, they're reinforcing these really great biblical lessons. My favorite song is Little Princess. If your dreams live or die, you'll be. This is the true essence of what VeggieTales has said for all of its years. God made you special and he loves you very much. And in this case, it's this little girl who Larry is saying, you're my princess and I'll always love you no matter what. And then God even goes further than that. It's really a story of how Sarah retains all that her dad had taught her and had built into her. And who you are on the inside, you know, as VeggieTales tells it, is so rooted in knowing that we are a beloved child of God. It is God the Father to whom you belong. Uh, no matter what comes to mind as, I wasn't really thinking that that was the main theme. It was interesting because I just, I see a, a little girl here with a lot of perseverance. Keeping on, keeping on, someone who's loving all, no matter what. A lot of inspiration about, you know, how do you live your life in difficult situations. Life's much more an adventure when you imagine with me. I really like the song Imagine With Me for two reasons. The two characters, uh, it brought them together in imagining together these little worlds. And secondly, taking them out of their real world when times were tough or when they needed something to look forward to. Sarah is a queen of being able to take something that other people would view as a, an icky situation. Imagining, that's a fun way to take situations that might be unpleasant and making them exciting. Mike first presented uh, doing this Best Friends Forever, BFF. And I laughed and then was a little bit nervous because I didn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> My BFFLNMWG, I think you're swell. I just thought it'd be fun to try to work as many of those into a song and a rhyme as possible. Well, one thing that was obvious to us with the song is that it, it wasn't enough just to have the girls singing the words because most of the words are letters and didn't make sense if you don't know what the letters meant. I heard you too, but not you being When we were working through the, the story to try to find what the nugget of truth is, the thing that we really wanted to communicate, what we landed on was that God loves you no matter what. The key to her is that she knows that no matter what, she's a beloved child of God. I really am excited for 
my little girls to look at her and say, no, here's a girl who loves others beautifully. I hope parents walk away with just this idea that I can, I can model that to my children, that I will love you no matter what, which is a reflection of God's love for us. Everyone is going to take away something different from this show, and I think it's going to mean a lot to a lot of different people. God's little breeze.